Today I'll talk about Eric's WTFs, whatever that means. But before, let me just give you a quick disclaimer. Uh, I'm not responsible for anything you will like be harmed from this presentation. Uh, if you're sensitive, like you, you may go now, but you will probably regret if you do. So what, what I will be talking about is uh, threading in, in reactive extensions in Re Re Eric's Java. Uh, I don't have experience with Eric Swift or Eric's JS, but probably some of the things will apply here. Uh, to be on the same page with you, uh, quick question. How many of you have uh, experience with reactive extensions? A, a few hands, like, I, I didn't expect that, so uh, a quick introduction. So reactive extensions are, are it's a cool stuff we, we do, and we have like uh, operators there to, uh, to have it easily like, uh, modify our data in a, in a, like a stream. So for example, with zip, we can go with uh, two observables, upper, upper lip observable and lower lip, lip observable, and we can like zip them together like in the image behind me. Uh, but that, that's not really useful in, in programming. So instead, we, what we do is we work with shapes, colors, and, and sizes like, like on this image. Okay, so, so what I want uh, you to have today is like a lot of interaction. I will ask questions. Uh, we'll do some threading, so will be hard, hard questions. But before that, let's try with something easy. So we have an observable uh, that we want to, to test uh, to assert if it's empty or not. So in this simple example, we will substitute uh, that observable in our test with five examples. Uh, from array, just, never, interval, and empty. So how many of you think that uh, for each, each test, each uh, example, the test will pass for, from array? A few hands, okay. Uh, just, no hands, yeah, that's cool. You know some rigs. Uh, never. Well, a few, two, that's okay. And interval, that's infinite stream. There's one hand. He probably knows more than, than I do. Uh, and empty, it is empty, empty. <laughs> no? <laughs> it, probably it is, but actually no. Uh, only never and interval are empty. If you want to know why, uh, check the documentation or, or <laughs> the code, because it's, it's not asserting it's empty. So back to threading. Uh, we have a, a simple uh, observable. We want to zip to observables that uh, do some work on different threads, on computation and I.O. Uh, and then a function that zips the, the results from, from both. So what thread do you think uh, this function by function will be called on? What, what thread would, uh, will execute addition of the two numbers? Any guesses? Uh, I.O. I.O. Why? Because it's the second one. <laughs> on, the, on the last one, OK. Who thinks on the first one? There's one hand. OK. Nobody knows. Uh, actually, it won't be executed at all. <laughs> Why not? There is no subscribe. Yes, exactly. There is no subscribe. So, so the, the same question again. What thread will be ex executing the addition now? Computation. <laughs> Computation. Because it's first. Uh, well, actually. Does it help you if I switch them? <laughs> Is it still computation? No? What about if I removed one, one subscribe one? Does it still help? No? So the answer is the slowest one. 
actually. So, so the one that executes uh, works longer than, than the other one. And what about this a bit more convoluted example? We have two subscribe on with IO. And we do some work, some, for example, add them and then map and do, do on next on that. Uh, what threads will execute this if, if we have this observable, M, both observables emit more than one items? For example, the first observable A emits item, then the second observable emits two or three items, and then the first one uh, emits an item again. So is it like one thread does, does, does this, all this work, or is, it, or is it two threads? Or maybe is it more than two threads? Uh, I won't continue un until you answer. I Guesses. Guess one. one thread. Zero. Zero thread. <laughs> there is subscribe. <laughs> there. I uh, could return uh, two different threads from the pool. So two threads. Two threads, that's correct. So which, which of these two threads will execute A plus B? Uh, the faster. No, <laughs> we already learned it's the slower one. But tur turns out it can be like different threads may execute it on, on different occasions. It will be like one, one of them will execu execute it once and then the second one will execute it uh, all the functions, map, do on next, uh, it after that. So is it a problem? Do sh should we synchronize that? Well? No. No. OK, no. But actually, yeah, uh, Eric's Java is cool enough to, to have this happens before uh, for us. But what if we have another subscription? Turns out, I if we do something like crazy, uh, we can end up having problems, like mutate, if we mutate in dual next, uh, some shared state, uh, the code may be executed at the same time. So sometimes, just sometimes, we, we should synchronize stuff. OK, another example. Uh, we have an observable, let's say it's a your favorite REST client globally uh, set up to, to execute on I.O. or maybe it's uh, just some delayed observable on I.O. or if you want, it's an interval that you take on some limited value. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's on I.O. It, it will emit on I.O. So what, what do we need to do to have this execute on threads uh, that are there in the comments. For example, we in the first uh, do on subscribe and do finally, we do some analytics. And in the second, we do some show, showing and hiding progress bar. So obviously, we want that, that on main thread. What do, what do we need to add there? Observe on? Did I hear observe on? S subscribe on. Dominic? <laughs> you know the answer. Actually, subscribe first. Because it won't execute at all if we don't. But then, what, what do we need to add in the middle to have it execute on main thread? Like the, the, se the second statements? So is it observable on, observe on, on, on subs or subscribe on? Because, as you know, observable is already subscribed on I.O. So? Observe on. Observe on main thread, right? That's cool. But is it enough? No, it's not enough? No. Yes, there is a problem. The first do on subscribe will actually execute on main thread if we do that. So how do, I, how do we fix that? Subscribe on main thread. Uh, that, that won't for sure make it execute on IO thread. 
I we want the first one to execute on I.O. Okay, so subscribe on I.O. Where do we put that? Uh, just before observe on. Just before observe on. Well, so, sort of, yeah. It's almost the same. <laughs> so so to, to fix that, we, we actually need to add subscribe on after. Do you want to subscribe? Is there still a, a problem in this code? I wouldn't stand here if, if there was no problem <laughs> with this code. Yes. Yes, that, that's correct answer. So there, there might be a problem that the second subscribe on doesn't execute on main thread. When? On Thursday. On Thursday. <laughs> yeah, usually on Friday. No. <laughs> uh, when this code is run on the separate thread, not on the main thread. Exactly. If we execute all these codes on a different thread, it will execute the second do on subscribe on that thread instead. So how do we fix that? Oh, and actually, it doesn't matter if, you, if I switch this, because it, it still won't work. So how do we fix that? Subscribe on, <laughs> subscribe on main threads, just there, just, just after subscribe, do on subscribe. So isn't it a bit weird? Like everybody said that the first subscribe on it will actually work and actually the observable itself is subscribed on IO. So all this shouldn't matter, but it does for do on subscribe. And actually unlike uh, observe on which wo works downstream, it works upstream for uh, for do on subscribe. So if someone told you it's it's not, it doesn't matter, it does. So is it okay already, or do we like have another problem here in the code? It's already called yellow. <laughs> So why, why do finally wouldn't be run on I.O. thread? When? Louder? If there's an error? If there's an error, no, it will run on I.O. Let me just move this code a bit higher for you because <laughs> we will add more code there. <laughs> So? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe on main thread. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nobody knows? OK, if we dispose, <laughs> then it will run on, on the thread that di dispose was called on. Usually, that's main thread, uh, for example, in on destroy on Android. Uh, so how do we fix that? Dispose on, where? <laughs> before, before first and before second to do on finally. Before first, first do on finally. Before first do on finally. And do finally. Yeah, and then. Correct. And then there is another problem. Yes. Before second, we need to add do unsubscribe on main thread again which makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so let's enjoy this simple code a bit. I uncolored it for you. And thank you. <laughs>